Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close-up look and test the Razer Kraken Tournament Edition. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So in this box is a Razer Kraken Tournament Edition wired gaming headset. It features THX spatial audio as well as 50mm diameter drivers and a USB audio controller. And here are some of its technical specifications as well as contents lists. So it does have a 2 meter long cable, and this headset is in green, and it's also available in black. And taking a look at the back of the box, there are a list of features for this Razer Kraken Tournament Edition headset. And now let's go ahead and open up the box. But well, of course, cutting apart the sticky seal that's keeping the box securely closed. And now lifting up the box lid to reveal the Razer Kraken Tournament Edition in green. So giving you a nice clear look at the headset as it sits in the box packaging. Okay, now let's lift the contents out from the box packaging and set them on the tabletop. So let's figure this one out. So this is just a card insert and of course checking through to make sure we remove everything from the box packaging, leaving nothing behind. And now just lifting as best I can, see if I can remove this insert, but perhaps not. So just being a little bit careful here. And of course, there's the obstruction of the tripod and camcorder that might impede my ability to remove some of the items quickly and neatly as well. So there we go. I think that is the contents of the Razer Kraken Tournament Editions box packaging emptied onto the tabletop. We can set the box packaging to the side. So just setting it on the right hand side of the frame and just laying the contents out across the tabletop so you have a nice clear view of the items contained within this Razer Kraken Tournament Edition gaming headsets box packaging. So right there are all the items from the box packaging. Now we can first start by looking at this pack here so there is a clear plastic band that's keeping the books or papers together so let's slide that off and giving you a clearer look so two items here there's a card on my right and what appears to be possibly a user manual so let's set those down and take a look at the card first but once again just giving you a full view with everything laid out across the tabletop okay so starting off with the card right here there is some literature about razor and getting started with the headset so just setting that down and moving right along to the booklet. So there is what appears to be a user manual or instruction manual. Just giving you a look right there for the Razer Kraken Tournament Edition and just opening it up and giving you a, you a close up look at the details contained within this user manual. Or use the guide and just flipping right along at the details contained within this booklet and there appears to be razors 
decals or stickers contained within or sandwiched between the pages right there. So we're just going to set that down and moving right along, giving you a look at the instructions on how to go about using and setting up the headset. Okay, so it does have a retractable mic as well as, as I mentioned, a USB audio controller that controls a variety of settings for this headset, such as the game and ch chat mix, as well as the bass level up to 17 levels. And then of course there's volume controls and the mute toggle. And of course, most importantly, the TA THX spatial audio. It's right there, just giving you a look as I flip through. So the rest seems to be other details in other languages about compliance and other miscellaneous information. So right there, setting that down and moving right along to the headset itself. But first starting off with the USB audio controller, as you can see, there is a USB audio controller. I'm just going to set the headset on the left hand side of the frame so it doesn't interfere with the foreground as we look at this THX spatial audio controller with its controls and control wheels or rotary dials. So we're giving you a look right there. So the USB plug in my right hand, of course, it does have a protective cap there. So we're just going to give you a look at Razer's signature USB plug connector with the green accent, the bright green accent right there. And of course, the Razer branding on it as well. So I'm trying to give you everything in one shot right there. So that's the USB plug. And you can see that it is fabric braided for, of course, durability as well as minimizing drag. So I'm just going to leave that protective cap off the USB type A plug and give you once again, a closer up look at the controller itself and the USB plug. Okay, so now just setting the cable down. So the cable length measures two meters. So very, very long. undoing the cable just to give you some idea of the length but as I mentioned two meters long is the actual measurement as specified or listed on the box packaging that we saw earlier at the front of the box cover flap okay so there we go that fabric braided cable and then giving you a look at the USB audio controller itself so it is reasonable in size, not too chunky, rectangular, and of course it does have a protective plastic covering on it. So let's lift that off. And there might be another layer behind it as well, but let's just take a look as it is right now. So there is another protective layer behind it, but nonetheless, just giving you a look at this USB audio controller for the Razer Kraken Tournament Edition. So you can see it does have a matte finish and it's quite light in weight, so it's not really going to weigh you down or make it uncomfortable to use. And you can see they are plus, minus, and the microphone mute buttons on it. So just pressing on the buttons to give you some idea of the kind of response and sound and feel of the button. So very distinctive and precise in clicks. And you can see that razor branding below as well. And there is, as I mentioned, a base level adjustment or base adjustment wheel right there. So up to 17 levels for base. And then on this side, 
there is a game audio and microphone mix adjuster so you can adjust to your desired preference on which audio you want to hear more of whether it being the game on the left or, or sorry game on the right or microphone on the left and of course most importantly there is the THX spatial audio for a more immersive experience so just a simple button right there so one button on the right side of the controller and then with that game and chat mixer wheel and then on the left hand side is the base adjustment wheel and then of course the three buttons on the front face of the controller which is the volume up volume down and microphone mute button and of course there is that 3.5 millimeter audio jack or input right there and just setting that down and of course now moving right along to the headset itself so i'm going to shift the controller to the right hand or to the left hand side of the frame just trying to neaten things up slightly while keeping them visible so nothing is left out in the viewing experience right here of course not being distracting to the foreground as well as we focus on the headset itself so here the Razer Kraken Tournament Edition in green but also available in black as well you can see a very very bright green slightly on the darker side it does appear slightly brighter on the camcorders LCD but in video it might appear normal bright green okay so you can see that razor branding as well so it does have a noticeable weight to it but not too hefty and then of course taking a look at the plug end so you can see that 3.5 millimeter audio plug or jack once again with that lime green or bright razor green finish or coloring and then you can see that the cable itself is nylon braided as well so let's undo the silicone fastener and taking a look at the strap uh, at the cable itself and of course the plug itself so you can see l-shaped plug with a gold plated finish to the connector and of course that razor green coloring that goes along that fabric braided cable and of course there is an adjustment inline controller here so let me undo the wrap on this if I can find where it starts or ends and giving you a look at the volume and microphone adjustment so this is another way of controlling along that 3.5 millimeter jack cable it's right there giving you a close-up look as best I can I have to keep that headset up because the cable's not long enough for me to bring it up to the camcorder on its own so right there giving you a look at that rotary wheel so two separate wheels it seems nope sorry I beg your pardon it's a single wheel single piece as you can see adjustable on either side so nice and slim and of course a microphone switch as well and we see that razor branding on it as well so nothing is left unbranded pretty much and now of course moving all the way up to the headset itself so just going to tidy up with the cable and plug end of it and giving you a look at this headset 
the Razer Kraken Tournament Edition in green. And you can see that Razer branding on the ear cup on the external side. And the metal mesh surround that goes around that housing. And giving you a look all around, of course, and up close at all the details of this Razer Kraken Tournament Edition. And you can see that it does have that retractable boom microphone. Let's pull it out to give you some idea. So right there, it does click in place once fully extended. And it is nice and bendy as well. So right there, giving you a look at this highly adjustable and you can see it doesn't strain at all. Very, very soft and flexible for maximum positioning and adjustment right there. Okay, so let's retract that microphone just for now. And that's it. And giving you a look around at the details. So right there, all around of this wide gaming headset. Of course, the underside as well. And the Razer branding on top. So rather stiffly covered headband, as you can see. Quite firm on the top side of it. it does press down, but it's not plastic. You can see it is dense foam and just looking at the thickness of it, giving you some idea. And of course, the underside as well. The underside does have a weave texture to it along that black inner covering or lining. And it is lightly to medium padded as you can see just pressing down it doesn't go very far before i hit that hard inner structure so there is an aluminium headband if i'm not mistaken as part of the design of this kraken tournament edition and one interesting or cool feature about this headset are the ear cups so the ear cups have a cooling gel covering for comfort and then below that is a soft memory foam so you can see pressing down it does return to shape very quickly and I can feel that coolness of that cooling gel layer on that top surface of that the ear cups right there so giving you a look at the thickness so nice and soft with that added feature of having a cooling gel layer surface on top. It's right there giving you a look inside as well. And of course, let's extend the retractable headband. So interesting to see there is a ruler or guide with numbers on it on the headband. So you can always remember the ideal setting for yourself pretty much instantly after you find that perfect fitment. So giving you some idea right there, no creaks or rattles with this headband at all. It's so right there, giving you a look at this Kraken tournament edition from Razer and of course the ear cups have a slight swivel to them so not too much movement in terms of adjustability but right there is the pivot or swivel movement range of the ear cups it's right there giving you a thorough all-round look. So right there you can see that metal or aluminium alloy headband structure or frame. And now let's pull up that 
retractable microphone itself and giving you that full, fully extended, fully opened look. So you can see at the maximum opening or adjustment what this headset looks like. It's right there. No issues at all with the twist flexing, no creaks. Very, very robust in design without being too heavy or noticeably heavy. Of course, taking a look at the all important cable to make sure it does have a nice finish to it, especially when it comes to wear and tear and durability. Okay, so there we go. So nice close up look at this Razer Kraken Tournament Edition in green. And let's fully retract and once again giving you a look at that boom microphone, which is completely retractable. So of course, simply sliding it back into its partially plastic housing. And now let's plug it in and do a sound recording and afterwards, of course, giving you my impression of this gaming headset in gameplay. So let's set this Acer Swift 3 ultra thin laptop on the side, which I've unboxed on the channel before. And let's put the headset together. So very simply plugging the 3.5 millimeter audio jack into the USB audio controller and then plugging that USB plug into the laptop. And Windows has detected the new device and is setting it up. I'm just giving you a look altogether with the headset assembled in respect to the USB audio controller. So you can see what I press down on that microphone mute button. It does have a red ring around that button when I toggle it on and off. And the other aspects of this USB audio controller. Okay, so just setting everything down and I'm just going to do a recording. With the voice recorder app. Of course, the Razer software has prompted me to install it. Uh, the software for the Razer Kraken Tournament Edition. Nonetheless, I'm just going to go ahead and test it out without any setting up. So just going to fit the headset onto my head. So the ear cups do feel really comfortable and do have a very nice deep round closure that forms a nice seal around my ear without feeling any discomfort or heavy pressure onto it. So now let's try and do some recording or at least one audio clip with the micro, uh, Microsoft Voice Recorder. So we're just going to hit the record button. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. 
The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, so that's the audio test. So I'm just going to include that audio clip in this video. And of course, I'm going to run some very light commentary with my impression of this headset in a Call of Duty gameplay. So giving you one last look at the headset before I include the Call of Duty Warzone gameplay with my impression of the audio and of course comfort of this Razer Tournament Edition Kraken gaming headset. Okay, so we're now in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone with the Razer Kraken Tournament Edition. And I've customized the headset using the free Razer Synapse software, uh, which is used for customizing pretty much all of Razer's peripherals and accessories. So the very basic settings which I've applied are the spatialization modes so I've applied it in or set it in game mode and the audio equalizer in game mode as well. I've not applied any of the microphone enhancements. Uh, so there are three microphone enhancements. I've left that um, uh, unset or untouched, uh, which is off uh, by default. So, the, so uh, just reiterating, the only modes I've applied are the spatialization mode, which is set in game and the audio equalizer also in game so let's see how this goes uh audio wise it seems very immersive i think by default uh the thx spatial audio is on uh as as long as the usb is plugged in there's a green light on the audio controller itself next to the thx spatial audio logo or branding so okay, so so far so good. I mean, the base adjustment is very can't seem to get this guy. <laughs> um, in terms of the deepness of the base, it is quite deep, uh, but obviously that is adjustable with that toggle or wheel adjustment on the audio controller itself so a rather rather adjustable setting on the audio controller and of course Enemy volume settings as well AI. that can all be adjusted so so far so good warm up done time to kick this off And in terms of positioning, I'm still trying to figure that one out. Obviously, that was a pre-game lobby, so plenty of things going on there. So let's let's find out. When, when it comes to that um, comes to that one-on-one -on -one moment, Gas is how, approaching your position. how that plays out. So zone. let's see. The clarity is pretty good as well. Um, I think it's really well balanced with the bass and overall sounds. Not sure why I'm holding on to the mic uh, talk button when there's only just me. But 
But yeah, so far so good. Once again, that habit of pressing the microphone button again. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. I can hear shooting, obviously. Uh, position wise. The THX spatial audio is supposed to be an advanced version of a 7.1 setup, so... Okay, I'm starting to sense, as you can see, that positioning. I looked at the gunshots and I was able to identify Uh, <laughs> where that gunfire was from. Welcome to the Gulag. If you survive, you earn your freedom. Fight's ready. You can always have a go at these bastards while you're waiting. Give them some choice words or smash their mugs with a well-placed stun. So yeah, so far, it is quite go. an immersive experience. Uh, Get ready to fight your wise, With the deep kind of well of the headphone cups. It's quite Listen spacious, up, uh, as in there's no pressure around my line. the sides of my lose, ear at all. So. Sort them out or capture the objective. All right, obviously over here trying to listen out to the sounds. Doesn't sound like this guy's moving. Okay, how about now? All right, so <laughs> at that point. So you can see, um, based on that short play, I could tell all the movements pretty much precisely. Um, and I was right at that last two lag um, that the person, the enemy wasn't moving, was pretty much still until that very last moment. So yeah, so overall, nice balance sounds, very easy to pinpoint or pick exactly whereabouts all the movements and footsteps um, are being made.